So here I am showing you the carbon ROM for the LG L70. Uh, for the MS-323 version. So, oh, <laughs> so much for that. Uh, here is what it looks like. I've already installed it and everything, so uh, you're going to see a little bit of custom stuff. Um, if you have a notification, let's see here, let's get a notification happening. Um... Let's just do this. I think on the lock screen you'll see it. Yep, here, up here at the top right, if you can see that little clock icon, you drag to the right, or to the left actually, and it will show you your notifications. Uh, you can pull once more and it'll go away. Um, oh, I forgot I had Pi on there as well. Um, another nice thing that you can have on here that I have done already is uh, you can uh, theoretically maybe you can't be in the clock up uh, you can swipe from it in from the right side and there are your apps I'm not sure if this is everything or if this is just some of them I have not actually looked at all this it looks like it's just some of them yeah you can see they go through a couple times um, but, yeah, so there's all your apps. Um, also, I have Pi on the right, on the left side. Uh, you can enable all that. And then uh, some other stuff I have going on. Let's see if I can focus this better. Sorry for the shaky quality, as well as not great. This is from the OnePlus One. I don't know why it's doing so bad. Normally it's pretty good. Um... Okay, I came over to my uh, bed just because I figured it'd be a little bit better. Of course, I'm still kind of shaky. Um, so, there's a couple more things. Let's stop this and clear it. Uh, oh, yeah, so if you actually go swipe to the left, it'll... Oops. Maybe? Nope. Okay, not from in here. Uh, you can't swipe to the left. Um, but in your recent apps if you drag to the left maybe a little bit more how much do you need to go jeez there we go uh it'll launch a the multi window just a little floating ui uh, on top of the whatever app you're running in the background in this case it happens to be the lock screen or the just the background, but uh, it doesn't have to be. If you were in, like, another app, it would launch over that. Uh, so let's just close out of this. Um, as well, when you uh, saw my recent apps, you see on the top here that I have uh, a RAM bar enabled. You can do that in the settings, and let's go there now, just so that you can get a look. So here's all your notifications. Currently, I don't have anything, as you can tell. Uh, then, just like in uh, stock and CM, you've got your little user and interface thingy, uh, switchable thing. So you've got this. Now you can see all your different profiles. There I am. Hey, look. I don't look too happy. Um, but you can toggle all this stuff. Uh, typical settings there. Location. The GPS is actually good on this, uh, on this ROM. This is the first ROM I'm running. I haven't uh, flashed Chevenal's ROM or uh, CM11, CM12. This is the first one out since uh, stock that I flashed just because I haven't felt the need to. Um, this is the extended uh, tablet interface, the airplane mode, obviously Bluetooth, dish, uh, my, your battery life. Um, oh, I don't know if uh, it's... If you've seen up here, but sometimes it'll switch to H+. Currently, I do have uh, LTE uh, enabled. Or maybe just 4G. I guess this is not an LTE phone, is it? Uh, whatever. 4G. Um, but then you've got my ba the battery and the time. You can switch between the little thingamajigs there. Uh, so under carbon settings is where you'll find a lot of this stuff. Um, buttons, as you can see, you can... Do, uh, not here? Not here. 
Uh, I was going to talk about the uh, actual on-screen buttons, but apparently not under buttons. Uh, device tunables. I don't actually know what that is because nothing ever pulls up. Uh, interface. Oops. Uh, you can see the expanded desktop, um, all this stuff. This is where you can see the RAM stuff. So I have the RAM bar. I don't have the RAM circle. It, uh, I just felt like it was getting too cluttered in there. Um, all that stuff. Oh, and you do have the clear all in the bottom right corner, I think. We'll find out. Well, oh yeah, there it is. Something we didn't have uh, from before. Okay, battery saver. I've not enabled this. I don't know how much better battery life you get, but you can change all this fun stuff. Um, customize it when you turn on the battery saver. All that fun stuff. Uh, so here you can customize a little bit of stuff. The progress bar when you download stuff. You can change it to mirror mode and all that fun stuff, reversed, and change the speed if you're really into that customization stuff. Uh, also in here is where you, uh, I think, I think this is where it happens. Maybe it's the next slide. There we go. Yeah, this is the app launcher on the right side here. That little blue bar is only when you adjust it. When you're outside of there, you can, it's obviously not like that. Uh, you can customize it up to, like, whatever that is, 65 pixels, basically. And so you got a lot of room there. I don't like as much room. I just like five or so, I think is what I had on. Maybe four. Whatever, four is good, too. Um, all this stuff, I don't actually know what trigger position is. I assume that's just where you touch your finger. Um, but trigger height... You can limit it just to the very top, as you can see there, or the entire thing. Uh, choose what apps to show, all that fun stuff. Let's go back to the settings. Uh, lock screen. You can choose to have, like, a whole bunch of little apps in there. You know, like, um, with CM, you can, like, customize it to different, swipe different areas. You can get into the different apps. Um, I've tried pocket mode. I know what that is, you know, where it's like, it, this is covered up, uh, let's see if I can do that right now, uh, so this is covered up, when you pull it out of your pocket, wham, yeah, not happening, uh, it'll actually turn on, um, and just give you, like, the regular default screen with, uh, all your notifications, just realize that the video is much more blue than the actual screen, so, uh, it's not actually that bluish. These text is actually like gray, not like the gray blue that you see in the video. Sorry about that. I don't know. I've been having problems with the camera on the OnePlus for now for a couple weeks. Um, double tap. You know, I haven't enabled that, but it works anyway. Uh, oh, but... I see. So if you have that enabled, you can t double tap anywhere on the screen, I guess. Uh, I just like it in the settings, in the status bar, uh, so I'm going to leave that off. Um, you can choose to show the dates and the actually the everything on the lock screen. Oh, wait. Yeah, this is for the... <laughs> I'm kind of learning through this uh, as I go along. Um but, yeah, you can have the active display enabled when you have it in your pocket and stuff. So that way you can, when you turn it on, it shows you, like, the most important stuff. Um, other stuff here. Change the display brightness when you have that on. Buttons. Different things you can do. General. You can show the battery status only when charging. Or you can have it on whenever, when you turn it on, when you're turning your battery on. Uh, so here's where you can enable all eight screen or er, eight targets. Uh, when you turn it off, you can, or er, when you turn it on, you can go up, down, and all that stuff. Uh, so I've got ten seconds left on this video. I'll create another one, but here's the basic stuff that you need to know just looking at it right now.